Welcome to Euphoria. This game has a very beautiful aesthetic, it's very minimalistic, and it's an interesting strategy title. I'll take you into it. We'll start with the story mode and get a little bit of tutorialization, and then we'll play a level or two just to get the feel for it. Story mode is the best way to learn how to play and enjoy the game, so we recommend you play it before other play modes. Playing through the many challenges will unlock additional content. We have this little seedling f floating around the planet. Welcome to you, Floria. Take your time while learning how to play and you will be rewarded with many hours of enjoyment. You can then play in a slow and relaxed manner or you may prefer to be fast and furious. Expansion. It is time for you to help grow our colony. As your mother tree, I will guide you. Explore this minor belt and establish new colonies to serve the growers. The growers have given you an asteroid orbited by a seedling. This is your colony. Soon you will learn how to expand it. When a new feature is available, a question mark will appear in the top right of the screen. You can press it for more help. Pan the view by holding the right mouse button and dragging. Use WASD or use the cursor keys. Use the scroll wheel Q and E or page up page down to zoom in and out. Click on an asteroid to select it. The info panel shows the asteroid's details. Click on an empty space to deselect the asteroid. So when we click on it we get trees and seedlings and we can click off of it. It is time to explore the next asteroid. Seedlings can be sent by another asteroid by se activating send mode. There are different ways to do this and you may use whichever you prefer. Seedlings can only be sent within your colony's range which is highlighted in send mode. Hold the left mouse button and drag from your seedlings asteroids to a target asteroid. Let go of the mouse button a green arrow will connect the two asteroids and the target asteroid will be surrounded by a large green circle. Click on the target asteroid again to send your seedlings. So we'll click the asteroid we're on and drag to the next asteroid and then we'll click the target asteroid again to send my seedling that way. Very straightforward so far. Select an asteroid, collect, click on select. The asteroid will be highlighted with a green outline. That may be the travel icon actually. Click on a target asteroid, a green arrow will connect the two. Click on the target asteroid again to send your seedlings. This is just an alternate method to accomplish the same task. So You can click on the green arrow and click on the target planet twice to launch. Pacing in the tutorial, as is common in a lot of games, is quite slow, but it does pick up after a little while. Keep going and gather 10 seedlings. So, use any send mode to explore the asteroid on your right. I'll use the travel to icon. Click this one twice, and that'll send all three of the seedlings I have orbiting the planet. And I discovered enough to move on to the next part. To add this asteroid to your colony, add a Dyson tree. Dyson trees are used to grow new seedlings. Plant a Dyson tree by clicking on the tree icon. Ten seedlings are used to plant the tree. Dyson trees are unable to shed new seedlings on asteroids populated by over 40 seedlings, so keep watch on your colony. That is to say, only 40 seedlings can orbit a particular asteroid at a time, so while they were constantly grow if you have a tree out they will only grow up to a maximum of 40. You must plant trees on empty asteroids to expand your colony. Like so we've just planted a tree the seedlings go into the asteroid 
and are consumed effectively, but that allows you to sprout a tree. And that tree sprouts more seedlings. Try zooming in so you can see the tree close up. Watch as it takes root and then grows more seedlings. Press pause to pause the game. The pause menu allows you to view the level goal, health screens, change options, and more. So the pause will be right up here. We'll just re resume for now. Be patient. Okay. Very patient. Very good. You have grown new seedlings, enough to take you to the next area. So in some ways it's kind of a hurry up and wait game. You will do the growers proud. You can change your team color if you wish. Select the seedling above the main menu or level selector. Now I have already done that which is why I have these green s seedlings. But if you hover over the seedling on the top right, you can see there are several different customization options. It really is just a, a list of seed options and then a random choice as well. Alright, we will go into the second level. It is time for you to help grow our colony. As your mother tree, I will guide you. I'm not sure if she, it says that at the beginning of each level, but... I hope not. So we're going to establish a minor colony. Euphoria can be played at a fast or slow pace. If you want to play faster, the game speed can be changed once the mother tree has finished speaking to you. Slide the speed control on the top left of the screen to speed up or slow down the game. Change the speed as many times as you like. I will go ahead and turn it to its fastest speed so you can have a look at that. Level goal, grow settlements by planting a tree on all asteroids. 10 seedlings are required to plant a tree. So we'll select the first one, travel to the second one, and then select it by clicking again. Now we should have 10 seedlings there at least. So we'll select the new one, plant a tree by using 10 of the seedlings. Asteroids have different strengths and weaknesses. They determine the abilities of seedlings that grow there, I believe. An asteroid's core energy is defined by the quality of its resources, which are displayed on the info panel. An asteroid's energy, strength, and speed determine their seedling's attributes. Energy affects health and ability to sap asteroid core. Strength determines attack power. Speed allows fast travel and aids in avoiding enemy defenses. Attributes also determine both seedling and tree appearance. Now I believe when it says sap asteroid core under the energy description, that refers to when a, an asteroid is under control of someone else. We have a question mark here. Oh, that's just the description that we just read. So we will wait for the tree to spawn 10 seedlings, and then we will go ahead and launch those 10 seedlings to the next planet. So far so good, but we haven't encountered any active opposition yet either. So we'll plant a tree on this third base, and now we have three bases. I am pleased you have learned how to grow new trees and add asteroids to our colony. Continue with your exploration. So now, if I want to send my seedlings, there is a radius for how far I can travel, I believe with each jump. So I would have to send my seedlings to this planet and then to this planet and then up to the new one, which I am happy to do. And I will click this and allow all of the ones from the primary planet to fly to the last one. And then I'll send seedlings from the second planet I colonized to this asteroid. And that should be sufficient for us to colonize the rest of the lot. It's very beautiful, especially when you start zooming in and seeing them buzz around. Trees growing and such. It gets a bit more chaotic as you play and you can see it's it's building up to something else. 
once we get into the actual combat elements, we'll see a lot more of it. So we planted trees on all five of the asteroids, and that completed the mission. Thank you, little seedling. These resources are welcome, and the asteroids fertile. I will let you explore further. I believe it should be farther because it's a distance, but Dyson trees are unable to shed new seedlings on asteroids already populated by 40 or more. Take care not to overcrowd your asteroids. The info panel seedling counter is green if there is room for more seedlings to grow on the asteroid. You can return seedlings from an asteroid if a fight is going badly. It's a good tip graze. What happened to our colony? There should be more seedlings here. This place was previously teeming with life. Find out what happened. Okay, so I will go ahead and send the lot to the next planet. I'm not sure that you can subdivide. You may have to send all of the seedlings you have whenever you launch. We'll go ahead and plant a tree here. Asteroids in this belt are quite fertile and can support two trees, which may also be why I was able to have 45 instead of a cap of 40 on that particular asteroid. So we'll plant a second tree here. And then we'll go ahead and launch to the following asteroid. Plant a couple of trees there. The more trees we have, the more seedlings or units that we're producing. Very beautiful. They just float around like pollen in the air. You know, minus the allergies. I don't know that these are producing particularly quickly. I will increase the speed of the game so that we can get some more units out more quickly. It is possible to scout an unknown asteroid by with a single seedling. Okay, that's good. This allows you to see information on the asteroid and any nearby enemies. Activate send mode and select a target. Send a scout by clicking on one seedling or by clicking on the target with the right mouse button. Scouting is a great way to quickly explore nearby asteroids without leaving your colony defenseless. So if we click on this world, drag to this one, but instead of clicking again, we click this times one button. We'll just send one over to see what's going on on the next one. What is happening? Your asteroid is being attacked. Protect your asteroid with more seedlings. So we'll go ahead and... I'm sorry, I did not read that, but that's all right. I think we get the general idea of it. We're going to send all the seedlings from the previous planet here along with these to reinforce. With overwhelming force, we should be able to handle them easily. Then we'll go ahead and invade back. Ah, they've launched a counterattack, so it's probably good to reinforce that world as well. Now will that no, it did not launch from the first one we selected. So you can't select multiple sources to transmit from. It's good data. The enemy have colonized one of your asteroids. You will need to send some seedlings there to fight for it. So we have reclaimed the planet. And now we should be able to plant a second tree here and increase our influence. We'll send all of them there, and then once they reach that other planet, we'll send the ones from the other planet. And they should all arrive at roughly the same time. Should I have scouted the planet? Almost assuredly. I will go ahead and scout this next one. You can choose how many seedlings to send to asteroids. While in send mode, use the left mouse button to adjust the green radial dial overlaid on the target asteroid. It can be useful to leave some seedlings behind to protect your colony. So previously when we attacked the gray world with all of our 
resources, they were able to claim our colony instead. So in this case, let's go ahead and figure out which radial dial they're referring to. So we're going to go here, and then, how does that work? Is this the radial dial? I'm not sure. We will go ahead and launch and then support from this previous world. I'm not sure how that particular mechanic is supposed to work, but I don't think we're going to have any trouble finishing the job here. We've got quite a sizable swarm here, and we can use it to conquer the last planet. I am going to go ahead and reinforce this planet from my first and second planets. and then launch an attack straight in there. That should eliminate all the grays and we should also be able to plant a couple of trees of our own maximizing our possible troop production. Now of course we're finished with the level but if we had farther to go it'd be useful to have all of the troops we could get. You have fought off the gray sickness but so many precious seedlings have perished what is this terrible disease that has taken root? The growers depend on us for new colonies. We must find out more, or they may not return. Eufloropedia. If you find Eufloria difficult or too fast, you can choose to play in a relaxed manner. Select Playstyle from Options on the main menu. Now I am going to go ahead and leave you with that. I think you've seen the first impressions of the game. It does get a bit more complex as you play through, but it is a very relaxed, very simple to understand strategy game. And I enjoy it quite a bit. I, I will recommend this. I will include the link to the Steam page for this particular game if you would like to try it out for yourself. Thank you for watching and have a lovely day.